Hey, and we're back. Welcome to game four of the middle-aged road to 2200. And this is uh, the game analysis. Uh, if you saw the game, this was just all, <laughs> all over the map. I played, I, I found myself, and I even said it in the video if you saw it, I found myself playing this like it was a crazy blitz game. And that I didn't like. Um, I played in extremely inaccurate, lots of mistakes, so did my opponent, luckily. He could have punished me, I bet, and we're going to look into it. We'll see. Um, how I like to do this analysis uh, for this game four is I like to look at it without the engine and see if I can see some errors or improvements in the position. We, we talk about the ideas and then hold those ideas when looking at it with an engine. So let's look through here. There was a few key moments too that were very tactical that I missed, but I think. So classic Jabava right here, I felt like the move to push for was this, but I don't know those lines, so I just went for this immediate stuff. Now computer doesn't like this, it's an inaccuracy, and computer thinks that's an inaccuracy, I believe. Computer says that's best moves. So that's the entire idea of pushing H4. He doesn't take. Computer didn't like this. Evaluation bar, you can see, just completely starts going bananas at this point. So this is a huge advantage for black, apparently. But I want to castle queenside. Uh, the knight was considered a mistake. And I decide to take. And I castle, and he goes for the queenside attack, which I believe you're supposed to do. Now, my entire thinking of this was I need to start going after this H file and all this sort of stuff. And the only way to do that is to clear the path. So that was the entire premise of that move. But... Right here, it shows 1.6 for white, and then the evaluation bar goes down to 1 for white. So, you know, how is this worse for black? I mean, I don't know if... No, that's not the idea. I don't know if... Uh, I mean, I hung the pawn, I guess. And that's the reason why pushing it wasn't good. But then I guess... You know, if, I, if black goes back... Right? I think... Oh, sorry. Bishops don't move there. So I think... It likes it better for black because, you know, my attack is slowly... Oh, I've just hung this bishop. So then I'd have to take back. So... If I go here and he takes, I have to take with the pawn. And evaluation's dead even, but where am I getting an attack in? Right? I could try to go after this. I'm running out of pieces. I don't know. So, right there, that kind of shows me that this idea, giving away this pawn, was poor. And my opponent didn't go for it. He blocked his bishop in for some reason, which is ridiculous. Um... So, I think instead, maybe develop the bishop. Valuation bar doesn't like that either. Maybe go after this square right away. Yeah, the valuation bar likes that. Knight can't go here to defend it, so what does he do? I'm about to get a fork on all three pieces. So yeah, that was the move. 
instead of this, I should have played this, and that would have also freed up this and this. And then I could have went here or here. So yeah, knight, we're gonna look at it with engine, but I do think knight g5 was the move. Okay, so anyway, I didn't play that. Opponent blundered this. Now, did I take advantage of it? I believe that was the best move. I don't know if I had to take right away. Again. Well, I have this. He can't take because of this. And how do you defend? I guess you go back? That rook's looking pretty soft. How do I take advantage of this position? Oh, boom. Right? I don't know. What's the key idea in this position? This? Nope. Oh, maybe this? Nope. What's the key idea in this position? Nope. What am I missing here? It's a three advantage for white. How to punish? Nope. Nope. I wonder if it's... Oh, well, the knight's, the rook's hanging. What am I thinking? So if I went here, attacking the rook, and this square, he has to go back. But I still get the fork. Yeah, what am I thinking? So the move here, after this, was not to exchange. It was to go after the rook. I don't know why I didn't see that. Yeah, you go after the rook for sure. Then you go here, you know, I don't know. Let's see, he goes there. Well, now I have another fork. <laughs> like this is just, and I have this, that's nasty. So he can't let that happen, right? If he goes here and I go here and he goes there, I can either take the rook or I can win this piece for free. Well, no, I'm still attacking the rook here. Oh, this is so bad, yeah. So there's a key move there. I should start writing these down. I don't have a piece of paper, do I? Okay. So first key movement, I think on move 11, it should have been knight g5. So we're gonna write that down. And it's cool to see the ideas behind it, right? And then instead of 13, bishop takes g7, should have been knight g5. I missed this idea over and over again, I think. Okay. Didn't punish my opponent. That, this was a mistake. So... How does black continue from here? Maybe something as simple as this? But then I guess I worried about this. Oh, but then he traps his rook.
Yeah, this isn't very comfortable for Black. So I think, yeah, the evaluation is showing a two for White. And after Bishop there, it goes down to one. So here, the valuation bar stays at a 1.7. One point five, so probably bishop developing and letting. I was worried, I guess, about an attack on my knight. I don't know. So because I worried about that, I think this idea of this bishop c4 move 16 was questionable, which then leads into move 17, where I hang the bishop on purpose. So I give up a knight and a bishop for a rook and no pawns. But I wanted this tactic, I guess. So the position's dead even here. And that was a huge mistake by my opponent. And here's the key tactical, I burned half the time on my clock on this move. Obviously, my whole reason for this bishop hang wasn't just to win a rook for two minor pieces, which is losing, by the way. I know that. But I wanted to connect my rooks and have attacking, sacking possibilities here. So that was the reason for hanging the bishop on purpose. And it did lead to this situation right here where I spent half my time trying to calculate all sorts of crap and this is what my brain saw so first of all i looked at this because we have to note the knight is pinned so i was looking at takes takes here there here there and that's where my brain stopped my brain stopped there and I was like, oh, he's got a, he's got a, a rook and a knight and a bishop. And I just have a bishop, or sorry, a, a knight and a rook. Why didn't my brain calculate one move further? Now, this game is winning for white. Because look at his pawn structure. I, I mean... The computer only gives it a 1.4 for white. I could screw this up for sure, but I feel this is, comp you know, could be a very winning end game. I didn't see it to there, I saw it to there. So then I axed that idea of taking. So then I started looking at ideas of this taking, right? But after this, I looked at this. Oh no, not this, sorry. I looked at this, takes, check, so sacking a rook to get my queen out of danger. And then if he goes there, that's bad, I think. Now the, the you know, I'm, I'm saving this game, I think, maybe. But then I was like, well, what if he blocks? Then I go here, then he goes here. I'm calculating all of this. Right? And for some reason I didn't see this pawn here. Maybe I should have. And then he goes here. Yeah, I don't know. What's the winning move here? It's dead even here, but anyway, I saw it to this point here and I axed it because of him being able to defend with the queen and all that sort of good stuff. So I'm sitting here calculating all this and I ultimately decided that because my queen was under danger and I just need that one extra tempo, I made the decision to play it safe. He's up a pawn because I traded two minor pieces for a rook. And I was like, okay, well, we'll see what I can do with this. And I didn't feel good about it, but I went here. And my opponent blundered. Now that my queen isn't under attack, this 
is completely winning. So this was my one awesome moment of the game, but my opponent blundered it. Now, I think obviously the move here was this, and I just didn't calculate it one move further. I would have picked up the bishop as well. So that's a shame I didn't see that. I, it's funny how our brain just kind of cuts a move short in a sequence. So I went here, but then luckily got this. So I took, he took. And then now, honestly, I think this was unnecessary. I could have went directly for this attack. How do you defend both, right? I gave uh, Black an opportunity to defend. So, I mean, it, this move doesn't hurt me, but I think this was stronger. Because he has to defend the knight, right? So how does he defend the knight? I mean, he could go here. He could move the knight to attack my queen. But no matter what he does, then I'm picking up this pawn. Anyway, I didn't do that. I saw it at right as I moved. But now, granted, I had four or five minutes on the clock because of that last sequence I spent so much time on. That last move. So my opponent had like 12 minutes. So I was just trying to make quick moves. And I mean, this is easy to play for white. I just have to infiltrate. This was, I'm still going for this. And I actually thought my opponent was going to go here. And then my plan was to go here. Attacking this, threatening this, and threatening this. I mean, how do you stop? With this kind of pawn structure, this queen is just a monster. Instead, my opponent didn't go there. They went here and then it's just like okay well let's get our queen in here now the threats are pretty obvious check you know i'm threatening a multitude of things and this pawn um if he i saw a good move for him was this now if he went here he's defending the key square and defending the pawn and honestly at this point i would have liberated my knight i think by defending this pawn computer doesn't like that I wonder what the computer wants me to do here. I mean, this is being defended by my knight, so my knight can't move. What's what's uh, this? Yeah, computer wants me to go there. Takes, takes, and now I'm threatening another infiltration. Yeah, okay. So... If he would have went rook e8, I mean, this is how I would have played it. Just safe. You know? I could probably threaten... Now my knight's liberated. I could bring my knight here. There. Here. You know, that was kind of my plan. But he didn't do that. He blundered. And I mean, it's game over from this point. So, um, some really key ideas that I missed in the opening. I really think I mean, I think this is all fine for me. This, the computer is not a fan of all this. Doesn't like the Jababa. That, that was a mistake. Knight g5. So let's take a look at the review and see what it has to say. We, we already had a snippet of how inaccurate the review was at the end of the game, but it's just awful. 67%. Six mistakes for me. One miss, one blunder. My opponent had 65. Like, look at these stats here. Just... That is not a game to be proud of. That's awful. Opening. White plates. <laughs> Blunder opening. So let's take a look and see what the game review and the engine has to say. We're going to get rid of all these. Okay. Yeah, so best. It wants that E4 push, hey? It wants it bad. Okay. Okay. Oh, it wants me to just go for it right away. See, Daniel Naraditsky says before pushing for it, 
I thought you want to get the queen here. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so I went for it. Oh, I'm supposed to take? Okay. Then I go for it, okay. Why would black hang that pawn? That's strange to me. Anyway. So the idea was to take first and then go there. I didn't do that. Okay. This lets the opponent capture a pawn. It just wants me to, okay. So let's say letting him capture. We'll put the lines on now. My plan was to take here. I guess because you don't have the queen to for the recapture, that's what makes it worse. So I suppose, yeah, that makes sense. So I suppose I should go here. But the computer wants me to just take and then develop, right? Knight f3 is the second most preferred computer line. Okay, back to the review. So I developed a knight, which the computer hates. So you're not supposed to give up this pawn like that unless you can capture with the queen. Okay. Luckily, my opponent didn't punish me for it. Yeah. So what was my notes here? Move 11. Move 10 even. Move 10. Castling queenside was a miss. So knight g5 for move 10, knight g5 for move 11, knight g5 for move 13. Oh no, computer wants e5. Okay, well let's look at, uh... let's go back. Okay, so e5 is the top engine line, but knight g5 is the second. I think knight g5 is very human, going after the rook, the square. I think that's just murder. Um, top engine line is bishop takes, rook takes, Queen f8 is the move, but what if rook g7? It doesn't matter where he goes, he's losing it. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that was, I think knight g5 is winning. Instead I went there, then I went knight g5. Now here... This was an inaccuracy. What was best? We kind of looked at this. It wants me to go for e5. Show moves. Well, I kind of like that. Now I can threaten to take this. He has to block because I'm threatening the knight. And then you defend with f4? Holy crap, that's crazy. I don't like that. I feel like you need to get this bishop out. Oh, maybe takes first. And then here. Oh no, you can't do that, okay. Maybe then you push for 
F4. That's not too bad. I don't mind that. So going back, E5. I didn't play E5. <laughs> I played this, which wasn't good. And then the sack, very bad. This gives away a free bishop. What was the move? Moving the bishop out of danger. Oh, so let's look at my idea of moving the bishop here instead. So right here, bishop d3 isn't even on the radar. So I'm at a two advantage, and if I went here, that's not terrible. I think this move is human, and I should have played it. Because it's, you know, setting up some nasty stuff here, potentially. And then I was thinking about e5. So, I didn't do that. Gave away the bishop for my reasons. Wants e5, I bet. Oh, it wants me to push. Yeah, okay. This loses material. Yeah. Mistake. Yeah. I wish I missed it one move short. What the heck. Okay. But then my opponent blunders. What's best? Oh, okay. Well, let's go back. What about this? Let's see if it's a top engine line. Queen d1 is the, the preferred. a3 was the second engine line. Oh no, a3 is the third. Queen h3. So queen g4 isn't even on the map. I don't think it's a bad move though. Anyway. Okay. And then just infiltrate with the queen. Game over. Well, we learned, if, you know, some important kind of things here. I think the key thing, this is all okay. Right here, computer wants e4 instead, but I'm playing the Jababa. And I think... Yeah, takes, takes, boom, then we continue. Then knight here, etc., etc. Well, that was an ugly game of chess, but we are now at two wins, two losses. Stay tuned for game number five. Until next time, cheers.